wait a second breaking news who quit who no who quit who doctor oh doctor who you mean that dumb bit That's right, friends. It's your man Z from Our Reviews Will Kill You, and I'm here to bring you a little bit of breaking news as it happens. Uh, looks like the good doctor, Doctor Who, is leaving the show. They got one more season for you. I think it's six episodes. We'll get into the story itself. I will not claim to be the world's biggest Doctor Who fan. I don't know all that much about it. I know there are these things called Daleks that look real slow. And I know there's been a bunch of different doctors, mostly dudes. So let's go to the article straight from the BBC and we will chat a little bit about it and get you up to speed because I think this one's important to a lot of fans, especially in the science fiction realm. So here we go to the BBC itself. Doctor Who, Jodie Whittaker and Chris Chibnall to leave in 2022. That's right, folks. It's finally confirmed. I know it's been rumors for a long time that this this uh, the lady who is stepping down. Uh, she was the first woman confirmed to be the good male Doctor Who, <laughs> the, the good Time Lord. And along with her goes the man who cast her, Chris Chibnall. They're going to have one six-part series later in the year and three special... Really? Three specials? Do you really need three specials? You wonder why everybody is signing up, is like de-signing up for the BBC. From what I understand, and Heels vs. Babyface does a better job than, at this than I do. So be sure to check out his channel. He is a British fella. And he says that everybody in the in, in England, I think, is required to pay for TV. Like, they have to pay for BBC. So everybody pays like a monthly or annual fee for their for the, for the BBC and you can't opt out of it or it's like a crime or something. I don't know. I don't know those crazy Brits. Um, but it looks like uh, Chibnall picked Karen who to replace Peter Capaldi and that was back in 2017. No one knows who the next who Doctor Who will be. I have a suggestion though. I don't think that this Doctor Who was groundbreaking enough. They need to break even more ground, perhaps go underground, and find a cannibalistic horse, preferably a female, that could play the new Doctor Who. That's a possibility. Maybe they could get Shaq to do it. I'm pretty sure he's open to doing all sorts of things. Why just leave it to a white woman? I don't know. She claims that when she opened her glorious gift box of size 13 shoes, whatever that means, I guess she was because of the, the seat. I don't know. Is she's the 13th doctor? I don't know what that means. She wears 13 shoes. Don't know. Maybe I'm not that smart, but. Uh, she could not have guessed the brilliant adventures, worlds, and wonders I was to see in them. Wonders. My heart, <laughs> I can't even do it. My heart is so full of love for the show, for the team who made it, and the fans. Yeah, and she can't thank Chris, who everyone, as far as I know, hates, um, for bringing her in. Yeah, pretty pissed off. Uh, let's see here, the, th the her first episode, they claim was sci-fi's biggest drama. Uh, it was the biggest audience that ever came in, 11.5. Oh, uh, but the show's ratings have dropped off in recent years. And uh, I wonder why. I'm pretty sure I tried to watch one of the episodes because Critical Drinker said to watch it. And it was absolutely just the dumbest thing I've ever seen. So I cannot call myself uh, Whovian. What maybe uh, Her Her Herbert Hill here's a who, whatever that is. <laughs> the Telegraph <laughs> described it, and I, I'm assuming that's a uh, British newspaper. <laughs> they described it as flat, worthy, and woke. 
<laughs> whatever. Uh, the audience was uh, furious at the unbearable political correctness. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she like lectures the camera about us destroying climate change and we're ruining the earth and men are bad, things like that. Pretty typical stuff. Again, they just didn't go far enough. I think they need to push that envelope even further because clearly the fans aren't responding. And I, it just took a little bit to dig up, so I had to go to Rotten Tomatoes and figure it out because I don't know anything about Doctor Who, <laughs> but this is pretty awesome. I mean, it's actually terrible. It, it's, it's really quite terrible. Um, Doctor Who's 12th outing adds welcome nuances to Jodie Whittaker's Doctor and some scary layers of horror to some of the series' most terrifying villains. I'm gonna say I don't agree with that because the audience doesn't agree with that. They have it at 16%. That's pretty terrible. Do they have any fan... Um, what do the fans say? Let's see if we can see. No, no. Yes, maybe. Oh, here we... <laughs> Another franchise destroyed by identity politics. Hmm. Uh, it's terrible. Let me put it this way. It made me stop watching the doc uh, watching Doctor Who after watching it religiously for decades. Uh, terrible season with a lore. Oh, that's right. I think we talked about this at some point, how it just destroyed all of the lore. It's preachy and no fun. Change the writers ASAP. This is a generally bad show. So you get the idea. Nobody likes it. The acting's a mess. I heard there's like... Something wrong with the companions. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just telling you the news, folks. It's either good news or really bad news. Sometimes you get what you ask for. And when you ask for a new doctor, you don't know what you're going to get next. <laughs> you can get a tap dancing um, llama for all we know. It could be anything. Y you probably are not going to like the next incarnation of Doctor Who. I think they're going to push push the envelope even further. Unless they learn their lesson. Because it looks like they're, you know, getting woke. Go broke. But I strongly suspect that England uh, has not yet learned that financial lesson. So, good luck to you Doctor Who fans. I hope you find solace in the fact that they got rid of the showrunner as well. Because if they had kept the showrunner... This uh, Chibnall guy, you'd be pretty pissed about that, too, because he would have just given you more of the same. I suspect you're going to get more of the same. So, uh, good luck. Godspeed. And as always, uh, we're on to the next one.